Hey everyone, it's Mike from Morphos here and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you could join me for today's video. I'm going to be talking about uh, the Delta, specifically the Max Delta, the Min Delta, you know, what it means, how to use it. So before we jump in, if you've been enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell uh, so you don't miss a new upload to my YouTube channel. And if you find today's video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment sharing your biggest takeaway or, you know, some of your thoughts on, on what we're talking about today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. Now, I don't have a, a screenshot of the question, but it's a question I get uh, uh, pretty regularly asking about uh, max delta, min delta, you know, make a video on it, sort of explaining what it is. So in the order flow, you have several deltas that you're looking at, right? You have the delta number, right? Which is sort of like the headline delta. But you also have two other deltas, sort of internal readings of the market, which is the max delta and the min delta, right? And of course you got cumulative delta, which is sort of your running delta total for the day and uh, delta into volume, which is, you know, the, vo the final delta number into the bar's volume. But what I'm gonna be talking about today is the max delta and the min delta, okay? So again, every bar is gonna have a delta. Delta is the net difference between aggressive buying and aggressive selling in a bar. Now what the max delta is, is it tells you sort of what the strongest reading on aggressive buying was in a bar. So for example, this green bar right here in the middle, this big green bar, it's got a max delta of 390, a min delta of minus 47. Now max delta can never be negative, min delta could never be positive because Max delta is a reading of the aggressive buying, how strong it was in a bar. So this bar has a max delta of 390. That tells me that at one point in this bar, the, the delta was 390. It was just telling me there was 390 at that point in time. You know, if you sort of take a snapshot, there was 390 um, more aggressive buyers than aggressive sellers in a bar. And the min delta is the opposite in the sense of negative delta of aggressive sellers in a bar. So this bar has got minus 47. So it's telling me that the strongest that aggressive sellers were in a bar was just 47 contracts. Now, that doesn't mean there was only 47 aggressive sellers in the bar, right? This is just how strong they were at one point. Now, there's analysis that you can do from it. And you know, we've added this into our order flows trader software to give you a quick heads up as to, um, you know, some of the, the interesting things that is taking place within the max and min delta. So for example, what we do, one of our settings is, uh, I'll just show you really quick here, pull up the indicator settings and do, do, do scroll down in here under, it's going to be under the ladder content, I believe here. Okay summary content rather you can see extreme delta threshold in percent okay and there's another one which i'll talk about shortly is a small min max delta threshold okay so first the extreme delta threshold in percent is set to 95 percent so if this bar if a bar closes within the 95 percentile of the max delta or the min delta going to color it if it's the max delta it's going to color it cyan color which is like this blue color if it's going to close if the bar closes within 95 the 95 percentile of min delta it's going to color it magenta so that's why you see some delta numbers are cyan this light blue and some are this magenta this sort of reddish purplish color if it's blue i know that it's closing near its max delta and why is that important because it's telling me that there was very strong buying in a sense in this bar, strong aggressive buying. And when the bar closed, it closed sort of right near its, its strongest level in the bar. Just as if it was magenta color, right? The minus 276, it's telling me it's closing within 95% of the minus 278, which again, tells me there was strong aggressive selling um, being carried out in this bar. Okay, so that's why there's magenta here and cyan colors. Okay, now the other setting that I wanna talk about is the min max, it's the small min max here. So 
You can see in here, small min max delta threshold set to three, and the color is white. So I could see in this bar, this bar, this bar, this bar's got zero min delta. This bar here, this bar's got minus three. This bar's got minus two. So over these three bars, aggressive sellers, while there were people selling into the bid, just because it's zero, it doesn't mean that there was no aggressive selling. There was, but they were the aggressive sellers were never in control of the bar. Think of a bar like a, a tug of war. One side is the aggressive buyers, one side is the aggressive sellers, right? And you have the flag in the middle going back and forth. Sometimes in a tug of war, one side never gets the flag on their side, right? And, and basically that's what it's, it's telling me. But when I see bars that have a small min max, now you could adjust this, right? I set it to three, so it's gonna be positive three to zero or zero to negative three for min delta, zero to positive three for max delta. So that means zero, one, two, three or zero minus one minus two minus three. It's just, when I start seeing them, it's telling me that, yeah, you have strong aggressive buying. The aggressive sellers weren't in control in this bar. Now, it's one thing to have, you know, a delta threshold number, you know, being uh, cyan or magenta, and it's one thing for a bar to have, you know, a small min max delta, but you gotta know how to use it, right? Now, again, if you're not using my software, Say you're just using a normal footprint chart, you know, like for example, um, well, I don't have one on here, but uh, you know, there's, there's other softwares out there that you could get that can show you the, the min max delta. You could just see it for yourself. I like to have things shown to me, highlighted to me that's saying, Mike, this is what's happening, right? In case I, you know, you get so caught up sometimes in analyzing the market or you're looking at something else, looking at your phone or whatever, you just want to glance up at the screen and if you see it cyan color or white or magenta, that's your sign, right? Rather than, because you might just miss it, right? Then there's times where, you know, we're, we're so busy, we just, we just miss something until after the fact and the bars already started to move away, right? From where that interesting order flow was. So where you're gonna to wanna to use these is, you know, take it in market context. So for example, so what do I got here? This is a one minute, E mini chart. Let's go back earlier in the day here to uh, let's see around um, here's 8:24, so 8:30. Okay, so you know we open up. Today was non-farm payroll Friday, um, and so there was a lot of movement in the market. But look at this, right? Cash opens here. Not much happening. We get within one tick of the high. The high was just made earlier at 8:24. We get one tick of that high. Then you see some strong selling, right? Now. Minus 919 is decent negative delta. Minus 400 is decent negative delta. But sometimes, you know, that's just kind of normal negative delta. It's nothing to get super excited about one way or the other. But then when you pay a little bit closer attention to the max delta being three, the max delta in the next bar being zero, okay, yeah, you had strong aggressive, you had obviously strong aggressive selling. You got minus 919 in the delta, minus 400. But at no point in this tug of war between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers were the aggressive buyers in control in this bar at zero. In this bar, they just got it over just a tiny bit. Three. Three contracts, more aggressive buying than aggressive selling, and then it just went all aggressive selling from there. Okay, so maybe that happened, you know, maybe as soon as the bar opened. But where is it coming in? It's coming in right after we made a with a one tick run up to the high. Okay, now like down here, right, you see zero and three and one, right? Zero, three, and here's a seven. It's kind of a small number, it's a single digit. One, and people say, well, the market just did this. Well, you gotta take it in context. Where do you wanna see aggressive selling come in? You wanna see it come in near the high. You want some sort of clue that aggressive selling is coming in near the high at, you know, at 44 area or 42 or even 40 rather than coming in at 24, 26, right? You're being alerted to it 20 points higher than down here, right? That's why I say, you know, order flow can help you understand the move as it's developing, okay? So even though you have the zero, the three, the seven, the one down here, it's not gonna be effective. We just had a 20 point sell off. You wanna get it as close to the high of the day or a swing high if it's small max delta. If it's small min delta, see if there's an example here, small 
min delta, you, know, you got one here, it's a zero. Okay, mark, you know, the market, what's it doing? Yeah, it sort of came into a swing low here, popped up a little bit. Um, let's see if there's another small min delta. Here's some small max deltas here, right? But again, we're at our lows of the day. I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. And here's some small min deltas, right? We just sort of coming down in here, forming our base. And we start reversing, going back up. What do you see? Sm small min deltas, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. I said one, zero and a zero here. Okay, so that's, you know, how you're going to want to use the min max delta. If you're looking at the min max delta, honestly, if you're just using a regular footprint chart and you have min max delta on there, put it on there. Start observing these things, seeing how the market is, you know, reacting at around swing highs or swing lows, highs of the days, lows of the days. Now, getting on to the delta thresholds, right? The, my, the cyan color, these blue colors, right? And these magenta colors, again, same concept. If you're seeing, if what you wanna see around lows of the day or swing lows is some sort of buying coming in, right? You wanna see positive delta, obviously, but if that delta is closing near its max delta, it's telling you it's quite strong, right? Aggressive buyers have taken over the bar and being consistent until the bar closes. So for example, here, right, 1,050, it's closing right on its max delta. Here it's 109, it closed at 109, okay. But this one's quite strong. And then you see the zero, zero come in afterwards, right? Here as the market is selling off, okay, yeah. I'm fine with the negative delta closing near its negative delta, its, its min delta number, right? 674 closing uh, near its minus 697, minus 863 versus minus 888. And the market's selling off. That's what I like to see on a strong sell-off. But if it looks to me like this market is bottoming out and it, and it kind of is here, you could just see it going sideways. But then you're starting to see signs in the delta picking up that's your cue to take those trades, just as, you know, here, right? We get, we just make a new low right here. Okay, you got a nice strong delta here, 338, it's closing near 355. And okay, just sort of went sideways. Some more selling coming in. Now look at these bars, right? Zero, 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 zero. People's like, oh my God, it's, it's got four zeros in a row. That must be super strong. Well, you're at your low of the day. You just made your low right here. And this is where, you know, it helps to understand the order flow. Because people will just look at this, you know, I, I get, you know, I, I don't want to say it, but, you know, people will see this zero, 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 expect the market to sell off. The market doesn't sell off. Uh, order flow is, is garbage. There's no point in using order flow because it's all zero, 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 strong, aggressive selling, and the market didn't sell off. Well, <laughs> Why? It's not because order flow is garbage. Order flow is telling you something. Strong, aggressive sellers, but it's probably being absorbed as this market is sort of going sideways. That's what that means. When you've got strong, aggressive selling, it's the people that will comment like that that just don't understand the market. They don't understand how absorption works. When you have strong selling and it can't move the market, it's being absorbed. That is the definition of absorption. And then you start seeing the aggressive buying coming in. So you've got strong selling, being met with absorption, the aggressive buying coming in here. 521, closing near 544. 1150, closing near 1161. I mean, it doesn't get any more clearer than that, but sometimes you know, people will stop at this part and say, well, there's strong selling, the market should have sold off, it didn't, see, order flow is garbage, it doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Take that thought, go away, trade your way. There's enough people I know that trade order flow and see something like this and understand it and profit from it because they understand what absorption is, what, to, what it looks like in the market, and they can take advantage of it. Okay, so I hope that clears up your understanding of max delta, min delta, delta threshold. Um, so again, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. Feel free to make some comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.